Hi guys, how's it going? So basically I am going to do uh, a new series and it's basically going to be a PK series. So I've given myself five sets of a really well-fared tri-bridge setup and some, some gear that you can see in the tab right now, which amounts to about five mil overall without the, maybe just a bit over five mil to be fair, without the AGS. As you can see, I'm also going to give myself an AGS just because it's 2019 and it's impossible to get kills without some sort of KO weapon, everybody sits far too high HP, and I don't really fancy going around killing, you know, clue scroll hunters or whatever. Having said that, I'm going to attack everybody that I can in the wilderness and just see how I can uh, acquire some GP. The end goal of this series is probably going to be to get a max set from scratch, uh, or maybe an Ellie, I'm not sure yet. Uh, I'll decide as, as this progresses, um, and also... I'm not going to keep it entirely solo, so I will PK with friends or have people around me. Uh, I'm also in a uh, team, so if they have anything going on, then I will go to that. But basically, I'm just going to record my progress on my main and see, see where it goes. So without further ado, let's go up to the Rev Cave and start. So after about two unsuccessful fights, I found this guy in singles gear. Um, I'm not sure if he had a team or not, but shout out to Matt, who is the guy uh, in the red Samarok robes that you can see just there, who was scouting for me. Uh, I tried to do a few fakies on this guy because he was pretty good with his prayers. Uh, and I was also getting hit off prayer quite a bit, so it wasn't a particularly easy fight. Firstly, he was a decent PKer, uh, and secondly, I was obviously D-geared. Uh, I underestimated the ping in an American world and ended up smacking him with my AGS rather than specking there. Uh, so that's my fault, obviously. And one of the great things I think about this series, it will help me reflect on my hybrid in and what I need to improve on. Uh, I've noticed that I definitely use uh, pots too much. So sometimes I will pot up even though I'm not planning on using any melee. And that's something that I want to work on. So... It got to this point in the fight and I was taking a lot of damage so I was just trying to keep my HP high really and kind of maintain the fight. I saw that he was sitting relatively low HP so I went for an AGS but I was far too slow with it and I didn't manage to hit him off prayer. As I said he was quite good with his prayers but I was also pretty terrible with my timings. Uh, so here I just tried to uh, use a tactic that I sometimes use which is always switching back to the same gear. Uh, and it meant that he actually struggled to decide what prayer to uh, to choose. Uh, and luckily, I managed to PK him. I managed to get his Kraken Tentacle. I'm not sure how I actually managed to get his Kraken Tentacle, as I thought it was his plus one. Perhaps it wasn't his plus one and he had claws or something like that, or perhaps, uh, perhaps he just forgot to protect item. But either way, I was quite happy with it. A bit disappointed that I didn't get a whip and instead got a 400k drop. But I couldn't complain. This was the first kill of the series and it put me in a great starting position. The price check is coming up. Uh, thank you very much to Matt there who's just boxing me as a precaution. Uh, and in the looting bag, we managed to walk away with 1.2 uh, mil. And I also saw there that he didn't have a spec weapon. So yeah, I suspect that he had a, an AGS or a claw. So the next thing that happened is we found this team, uh, the 30 line, weren't quite sure what they were doing. So I decided to get on this guy. I saw that he had an Elder Maul. He actually ran down from the cave entrance, managed to get him a 71 there. It's a shame I didn't have a G Maul and I don't know how I didn't kill him with that, that 12 AGS uh, with the poison stack. But nevertheless, uh, he could teleport any time here, but I thought that I would just work him. Uh, with even though I didn't really have that much KO potential and I actually got really unlucky as you can see here the poison stacked again he praised melee and I hit a 39 on about 40 HP on his robes uh, and then he managed to tell you away so the next person that we found was this rev PKer and I chanced him here I was really unlucky not to KO him with the AGS uh, he was fighting back and doing quite a lot of DPS because of the Heavy Ballista, even through prayer. He also had a DDS and Vengeance, so I needed to watch out. As you can see here, he uh, actually Venges a little bit too late here, otherwise he may have KO'd me. Uh, but unfortunately, I couldn't get the KO myself with only a 38 on his prey range. Uh, but I stuck on him and he started running towards Hobgoblins. That's because uh, my level 84 friend had TB'd him. Um, I just wanted to keep my HP up here and brew up a little bit, so I just decided to bolt him round a tree so that he couldn't do any DPS to me. 
and I managed to hit a 50 with my armadillo crossbow, praying range at the same time, uh, hoping that it would bait him into attacking me. And luckily, my recall finished it off uh, for some very basic loot, but it's all really good at the, at the start, obviously, because uh, we just want some money. Uh, so I didn't actually price check this, but it was around 200k, as I'll show you on screen. Okay, so I was on my way back to the entrance and I saw this guy, decided to get on him. He was 126 combat, I suspected he had a plus one or something like that, um, especially with the ancient staff. A uh, bit weird gear, maybe a Kraken Tentacle or a ZGS or an AGS. Uh, we later find out what he did have, uh, but I was pretty confident here and I hit a big bolt. So I went straight into the AGS for a 51 on about 60 uh, HP. Can't complain too badly. I mean, 51 is a pretty big hit, so maybe it was ambitious to go for that. But I didn't think that he'd get his Prey Melee on in time, which is importantly why I did that. Uh, a bit shit here trying to freeze him without uh, the correct prayer on, but I managed to get it on for the second freeze. Um, and he's just bolt ragging me at this point. So I want to maintain my supplies. He's obviously got a team and his team are actually around me. That's not people that I know. Uh, so I decided to kite him around a tree here. And really, I'm just trying to get to a point where I can AGS him. And I pot up there because I think, should I go for this? But he's in the midst of uh, eating. So I decided not to. Uh, just try to get a freeze here and get him to a level of HP where I could go for it. Now, he's not eating here, uh, so I decided to just go in for it. I prayed melee on 26 HP, uh, didn't manage to KO him and got AGS whacked through prey melee for a 26. I mean, it's within KOable HP, so I don't really know what I expected, but I feel a little bit hard done by that. And we're five minutes into the video and I've already died. So I went immediately back up to the cave and I found this guy. Uh, he was with another person, but we managed to uh, get him separated. And as you can see there, hit a 12 on about 50 HP. Very unlucky on his robes not to KO him there. He starts running away. Um, very unlucky not to KO him again. Uh, but I'm now gapped, uh, I think. So luckily, my friend Matt is here and despite being in chaps, managed to successfully, and a DDS by the way, successfully entangle and TB him without splashing. So I wish that I had Matt's RNG, but I don't. Uh, so I managed to get a freeze here. It's a bit laggy as you can tell by the loading screens and stuff like that. And I know that this guy's trying to freeze me. So I just DD on him and uh, bolt him, waiting for him to change prayer. And he doesn't manage to change prayer. Uh, ends up getting KO'd to bolts. Pretty simple kill, but they all count for now. And as you can see coming up uh, after I've looted this, it was a 205k PK. So pretty happy with that and went straight to the bank with it. Okay, so I ended up finding this med level who had a staff of the dead. So I was quite happy with that and I was smiting him. I noticed looking back at this clip that I wasn't actually protecting item for the duration of this fight. So I was quite lucky not to get KO'd here rather than in the previous uh, clip or the clip before that. Um, he was sitting very low HP here, so I pulled out an AGS and only hit a 6, which was unfortunate, but I mean, that's RNG for you. So I tried to kind of make him move a little bit. I was trying to get him to pull out his crossbow so I could pray range because he was staff bashing me and it was quite difficult to determine what his attack style would be. But he ended up running here and uh, I didn't manage to get a freeze on him, but we managed to catch up with him in Hobgoblins. So he was quite smart in Hobgoblins because it meant that I couldn't attack him because of the aggroed monsters and he could get on Matt, uh, who, bless his soul, decided to run in for a DDS Rambo and ended up getting specked out himself, which actually was quite funny at the time. Uh, so I managed to kill all of the hobgoblins and then get on uh, get on this guy, get on the med level with the Staff of the Dead. And as he was looting, uh, luckily he managed to get a few decent hits. And as we see there, he dies. Uh, ended up being about 560k loot, which I'll show on the screen now. And I also got Matt's loot, which I didn't give back to him because I'm ruthless. So I went back up to the Rev Cave entrance and I found the guy that we just killed, but he'd uh, re-geared in Mystics and Barrow's Gloves this time, so a little bit better loot. So I wanted to fight him. He was reluctant to Skull, which is fair enough. I wasn't risking too much, but his friend was Skulled. Uh, and it was a bit of an unfair fight because he was in med level, but there were two of those and only one of me. Uh, of course, I had Matt with me again. Uh, this was all done within about an hour and a half of, um, of starting the timer, really. So it was actually uh, the whole PK trip Matt was with me. So I was just trying to get him a little bit lowered uh, so that I could get a spec opportunity. He was sitting relatively high HP. 
But I saw that I hit a decent barrage here, so I went for it, and I feel like I was very unlucky not to get him there. Although I could have died myself, uh, I felt like the risk was a smart one. Uh, as you can see here, he ended up freezing on me and logging, which was absolutely fine, because by this point, the other his teammate had Skulled, uh, the guy that we just killed, and I decided to hop on him as well. And I'm going to cut to live commentary now. I think I've just smited him. Yeah, I have toxic stuff. I've just smited really? him for a toxic stuff, yeah. Oh shit. Careful. <laughs> yeah, I'm getting the fuck out of there. So we managed to walk away with a cool 13 mil PK here. That was a fantastic start to this series. Uh I'm going to show on screen the, the supplies tab and also the PK tab. I'm not going to make any upgrades at the moment because I quite enjoy PKing in salad robes uh, and a really welfare setup uh, and the challenge that it brought. Um, if you did enjoy this video, make sure you like and subscribe uh, and comment if you want me to change anything or how you think I could improve the series. I will take everything on board. Um, and yeah, thanks for getting to the end of the video.